Thousands of Venezuelans in South Florida are waiting for the results of a historic presidential election in their homeland. You're looking at some of that right on your screen. It could be one of the, or the end rather, of almost 25 years of socialist rule in Venezuela with Nicolas Maduro holding the presidency for the last 11 years. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. I'm Chelsea Jones. Those South Florida Venezuelan community members cannot vote in these elections. They've gathered at two strategic points tonight, one in Doral and the other at Jose Marti Park. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor is joining us from there. Uh, Yvonne, paint a picture for us. How is the atmosphere where you are? This is overwhelming, Chelsea. I can tell you optimism prevails among the Venezuelans who see these elections actually as an end of an era. I'm going to have Christopher raise the camera and show you what it's like because even the bad weather did not stop this gathering of thousands of Venezuelans hoping that these elections will change the path of history for their country. This is what hope looks like, a Sunday night of optimism, celebration and joy, a community that sees the end of years of socialism in their native Venezuela. People have lost fear. It's still too early to kind of call it, uh, you know, a complete victory. Exit polls showed that opposition candidate 74-year-old Edmundo Gonzalez was strongly ahead of socialist strongman Nicolás Maduro, who aims to extend his presidency to a third term. Early afternoon numbers released by polling firm Mega Analysis had Gonzalez ahead with 65 percent of the votes and Maduro obtaining only 13 percent. People want to be with their families. That's been one of the most powerful lines. More than 21 million Venezuelans are registered to vote, but millions did not participate in the process, like the thousands in the U.S. They are among almost 8 million Venezuelans who have fled to other countries in recent years to escape the harsh of living conditions at home. In South Florida, they are following the process from places like this one. Here you have close to 150 um, volunteers that are uh, helping on the spreading of uh, verified fact-checked information. Libertad! 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 The celebration seems to go across the ages, from elderly to young ones, from the ones who left Venezuela to some born in the U.S. Joy to see thousands of people coming together for freedom. Even Miami Mayor Francis Suarez is one of the elected officials who has joined this civic celebration at Jose Marti Park. This is so important, not just for the people of Venezuela. This is important for the United States. We see an immigration crisis, and it is in many, many respects impacted by poverty in the home country. Not only Venezuelans attended this gathering, also Cubans and Nicaraguans who see a ray of hope for their nations. So back out live, this celebration continues here. The first results for the elections are expected to be revealed past midnight. Nevertheless, there is also concern right now. We are hearing the National Center for Elections stop broadcasting results, and some of the supporters of the Nicolas Maduro government are claiming victory. So evidently, that is concern for the people here because the polls were indicating that the opposition leader was the one winning by a huge difference. We will continue covering the story we'll have more for you tomorrow here on CBS News Miami. We are live in Miami. Ivan Taylor, 